another sign of a world being reshaped as it warms. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News. All right, returning to our top story, the 2026 Commonwealth Games are essentially homeless after the Victorian government cancelled the Games and all other states, excluding the territories, can't see them stepping up, they've ruled out stepping in to save them. For more on this extraordinary decision, let's bring in the Victorian opposition leader, John Pasuto. John Pasuto, thanks for joining us. Did this, come as, a, did, this come as a, did this come as a shock to you? Did you ever imagine this would happen? Oh, no, Andrew, and I, I never imagined for one minute that any Premier and Deputy Premier in Victoria would do so much damage to our reputation as a state as a destination for global events and, and major events. And here we have the Premier, Daniel Andrews, and his deputy, Jacinta Allen, humiliating Victoria today, utterly humiliating our state by not being able to carry out the Commonwealth Games, betraying regional Victoria, because, Andrew, one of the big selling points and appealing features of the Commonwealth Games was supposed to be that our regional centres would be able to participate in all of the benefits and activity and infrastructure around the Commonwealth Games. That won't happen now. And frankly, Andrew, what Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen have shown today is that under them, uh, the great state of Victoria is broke. What do you make of Dan Andrews' arguments around this? Not much, Andrew. I never do. Uh, it's, it's almost like he's caught in a corner and he's trying to, you know, fight his way out of it. But the truth is he made promises to the Victorian people and he's not fulfilled those promises. And, Andrew, I would go so far as to say, as the Andrews government went to the Victorian people and undertook a con, it was a fraud on the Victorian people to say that they could hold the Commonwealth Games, making representations to regional centres around our state, to the rest of the country, frankly, to the Commonwealth of Nations who participate in the Commonwealth Games, that we could hold them. It was all a con. And what it you perpetrated one massive fraud on the Victorian people. What do you make of the Commonwealth Games Association saying a month ago this figure was never mentioned, this doubling of the cost? Yeah, that's absolutely right, Andrew, and Craig Phillips was spot on. And let me go even further, Andrew. Not more than eight weeks ago, the Andrews government published its budget papers, right? And in the budget papers, it showed a cost of $2.6 billion. How do you get from $2.6 billion to around $7 billion, or whatever it would be, in less than eight weeks? Well, what's his what's his questions. What is his explanation for that? Was he asked that this morning? I, I was in regional Victoria myself, Andrew, so I didn't see the full uh, telecast of his press conference. But... Is it any surprise, in a, in a sense, everything under Daniel Andrews blows out, whether it's major projects uh, or now the Commonwealth Games? So I suppose that part doesn't uh, surprise me all that much. But we're going to be pursuing this, Andrew. We have to on behalf of the Victorian you're, people. You're right, though. We this, need to know this is how the government got it so wrong. This is extraordinary that it's happened so quickly after a budget which had a, a, a much lower figure. Tell me about the Commonwealth Games. Was it... It's a, was it a controversial thing at the time that Victoria agreed to take it on? Well, I think there was um, some acceptance right across uh, the political aisles, if you like, that the Commonwealth Games would be an opportunity for regional Victoria. But like the rest of Victoria, Andrew, we're all reliant on the Andrews government to be truthful and upfront about costings, about data uh, and about the ability logistically to deliver the Commonwealth Games. So everybody thought, well, this will be great for regional Victoria. There'll be some legacy infrastructure, some road and train upgrades. It will be great for the state. Uh, and it will be good uh, in terms of our international reputation as well. So to have this happen so abruptly today really is now going to mean that we have to pursue this. And Andrew, my colleagues and I in the coalition will be looking at the best form of inquiry to get to the bottom of this. This won't end today, this humiliation by Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen of our great state here in Victoria will not go unanswered and unheeded and there will be inquiries into this matter. OK, well, you've only got a parliamentary inquiry, I assume. What other avenues do you have? Well, depending on what we unearth, because there are some serious questions, as you and I have just touched on, Andrew, about how the, if you like, the budget papers could have been signed off when they were so far out of whack only seven or more weeks ago. There are real questions there, so we're going to reserve our position on that, Andrew, because until we know more, we don't know whether 
there might be a case to refer something to the Auditor General or the Ombudsman or even possibly IBAC. But let's, let's see what we can find out about what really went on here and then we'll have some other avenues as well. Nothing is foreclosed with a parliamentary inquiry. We can look at other avenues as well. Do you think there were other options for the Victorian government than straight out dumping it? Could they have moved it to Melbourne? Could they have asked the Commonwealth Games to drop a few events? Do you think there were other options? There possibly were, Andrew, and we're getting that from uh, the Commonwealth Games Association as well and, and other people who have been stunned. Even local governments around the state are saying, couldn't we have looked at and had a chance to discuss options to mitigate the impact? Uh, so for the government under Andrews to so abruptly cancel the Commonwealth Games without any consultation, would you believe that the Commonwealth Games Association and local governments that were supposed to participate in the delivery of these Commonwealth Games were given only hours notice of this momentous announcement. So no one had a chance to put anything to the government. The decision was made and we're not going to let it sit there. We, we have to get to the bottom of this. What has the reaction been like in Victoria? Because our reporter Holly Edwards-Smith is saying you've got some people in those regional communities because they're still getting some money actually welcoming it. Yeah, I would urge all Victorians to uh, be very careful when digesting what Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen are saying here because you can't simply take the money they're talking about and apply it because a lot of the money they had committed in that $2.6 was in the context of the Commonwealth Games being delivered. So, for example, uh, in one part of Victoria, uh, an athlete's village would consist of portables, some temporary accommodation, some permanent. So... We're going to need more information about how the money that the Andrews government says is going to be delivered will actually be delivered. And the costings they've got per unit of housing stock that they're proposing to add has each unit costing about $800,000. So it's not a very efficient system of delivering new housing stock in the region of Victoria. So all I'm really saying, Andrew, is people need to be very cautious when listening to Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen because they're making stuff up as they go and we will do a proper and forensic review of all of the dollar amounts they're talking about. But it's a whole new ball game now, if I can use that phrase, because the games are not being delivered. So where you locate the housing stock and what the composition of that is will now have to be redetermined from the ground up. Was there ever any speculation? Was there ever any commentators in Victoria calling for this to be called off? Had it ever been a subject of discussion, that prospect? Look, I think there might have been some discussions here and there to be candid with you, Andrew, but I don't think it was one that had great currency right across the community. Everybody believed that these Commonwealth Games were being delivered. That's what we had been promised by Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen, that regional centres like Morwall, like Shepherd and Ballarat, Bendigo, Geelong and the communities that surround them would benefit from investments in housing infrastructure, hospitals, road, trains. So there was some level of excitement that there would be a, a much needed investment and injection of infrastructure spending in regional Victoria because it's been suffering under the Andrews government. It's missed out uh, and got less than 10% of infrastructure funding in the last budget. So, you know, there was some excitement about that. And I think although some people might have had their reservations about the Games, uh, more broadly, there was some level of excitement that there would be an investment in regional Victoria. Now, he's been Teflon Dan up until now. Will this one stick? Well, we're going to keep working at that, Andrew. He, he, he shouldn't. Someone has to be held accountable for this. This is a momentous humiliation. I can't overstate it enough. This is a global event. Victoria has always prided itself, Andrew, on being a destination for global companies, for major events that attract viewers and visitors from all over the world. And today, Daniel Andrews and Jacinta Allen have trashed that reputation. And that's not just coming from me, that's coming from others, like Craig Phillips, who earlier today said that people will think twice about whether to hold major events and conferences in Victoria, because it raises a really serious problem in Victoria now, Andrew, about sovereign risk, whether it's the East West Link or other major projects that, are, that involve contracts being torn up and then paying compensation for that. One of the things we'll need to look at in this case, uh, Andrew, is what costs will now uh, follow from the Andrews government cancelling the Commonwealth Games, and there will surely be substantial costs involved in that. Victorian Opposition Leader John Pasuto, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Pleasure, Andrew.